I've been training hard to take on my challenge to climb the Old Man of Hoy. Everything had been going really, really well until lockdown derailed my training. And when I eventually got back climbing, it did not go well. Oh my gosh, I'm in pieces. I feel like I've got to completely start again. I need to get some confidence back and quickly. Otherwise, this challenge is doomed. I'm hoping to get some encouragement from inspirational young climber Edward, who has been to the top of the old man of Hoy himself. How's your training been? Some of it, very, very difficult. What do you find the most hardest about climbing? I don't like heights. My technique isn't very good. And those two things together make climbing pretty difficult. So if you want to overcome your fear of heights, you should just focus and not worry about what's below you and I've fallen many times, and I'm all right, I'm still here. If I get your hands in the crack um, in the left. This one that I'm on? Yeah, yeah, like that. Push off with your hands, and then you'll be There you go, good shout. Nice. Trust, trust your feet. Body weight into the wall. This guy's a little cheerleader, I'm here for it. Push, nice. What do you think? Yeah, it was better than I expected. Was it? <laughs> yeah. You kind of just need to push on and not hesitate more. You want to see something tasty? What? I've had worse than that. I'm sure you have. What well, pro. Genuinely, today has been so, so important for me, especially since that last climb. And having him here has been perfect. He's exactly what I needed to build my confidence back up. Spot on. I'm encouraged. I'm feeling so much better, but I'm still a way off completing this challenge. My climbing partner, Anna, will still need convincing that I'm capable of climbing Hoy. So she's asked me to come to meet her at the tallest mountain in Wales. In terms of climbing, Richie really needs to learn how to cope with heights and exposure. On a big outdoor multi-pitch crag, he kind of goes to pieces. What I've got planned for today is an exercise that's going to put him in a position of extreme exposure, something he's never had to deal with before, and we're going to see how he copes. So what I'm hoping is that if he can deal with this, he's going to find Hoy a piece of cake. Anna. Richie. This is one of the most stunning views I've ever seen in my life. However, it's also quite big and scary. As you know already, the old man of Hoy, it's pretty exposed. Yeah. So I thought to get you a little bit more used to height, yeah. we're actually going to spend the night halfway up the cliff in a pair of special tents called portal ledges. Is this a jo are, you jo are you joking? I'm not joking, I'm sorry. I think you'll enjoy it. <sighs> Which bit? Never in a million years did I imagine I'd ever be sleeping on the side of a cliff, let alone one that was 200 metres high. This is so extreme that in over 60 years of Blue Peter, this has never been seen or even attempted. You've done this before, haven't you? Quite a lot. OK, I'm in good hands then. That's good. <laughs> I haven't had time to process what's actually happening right now. It's all a bit weird. It's all a bit of an out-of-body experience but it hasn't stopped me from being utterly, utterly, utterly terrified. But um, it's the waiting around that is the worst, so let's dance, shall we? OK, Richie, come down when you're ready. <sighs> Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, come on, Joyce. Easy does it. Feet in. Yeah, that's it. And just keep lowering yourself. Keep going. Until I'm curled up in a little ball. Basically, yeah. Oh, yeah. dear. <laughs> so how are you finding Port Ledge life, Richie? I'm exceptionally terrified. And how are you feeling about spending the whole night here? I'm not sleeping. Have you ever heard of a, a nervous poo? I have, Richie. OK, well, I'm, I'm feeling quite nervous, to be honest. So what if I need a poo? Off the edge. Yeah. Do I shout, look out below? Might help. Right, Richie, lights off. OK. Anna? Yeah? I know it's a little bit late to ask, but are you sure we're safe? I promise we're safe. OK. 
Morning, team. I slept, um... Well, I slept. A little. But I definitely woke up at one point with my head dangling over the side. Not something I ever, ever want to do again. So, after easily the scariest night of my life, I just have the tricky and utterly petrifying task of climbing from one platform to the other to get out of here. Okay. Come on. And from here, there's only one way out. Start climbing. Go on, Richie. Yes, yeah, come on. Yeah, brilliant. So close, Driss. Come on. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Ugh. I'm on actual ground. <sighs> mm -hmm. Trying to get off of that stretcher. It's the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I never want to do anything like that ever in my life, ever again. I was terrified. Right now, I feel invincible, but Anna still needs to see more before I can even think about attempting the Old Man of Hoy. So next stop, Anglesey. Today's climb is the most important that I'm going to do on my journey towards Hoy. I dread to think mentally where I would be if I don't redeem myself today. It's going to be a little bit similar to Hoy. We'll be climbing above the water, there's a lot of seabirds around, and it's quite an intimidating environment. This is tough, but this is exactly what I'm going to face on Hoy, so I'm determined to bring my A-game today. And then it happens, and I never thought I'd hear myself say these words. I am enjoying this. Yes. Take it in, but don't look down. Richie, this is fantastic. You're going to love it. Great news. That's it. Feet don't need to come up much higher. You beauty! The kid is flying. Good lad, Driss. Because that was a mental battle just then. Uh. <laughs> right, let's finish this off, shall we? That went really well. Ah! Climb complete. But is Anna happy with my progress? I think this is the first time I've ever seen you look happy at the top of a climb, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. It is a good sign. That was... Uh, I enjoyed that. You climb so much better on that than I've ever seen you climb before, and after what I've just seen, I think we're back on track. My confidence is back, my climbing training is going well, and I'm ready for hoy. But then, disaster strikes. I injure myself on a kickboxing shoot, and failing this challenge has suddenly become a real possibility. The injury is in one of the worst places possible, the hamstring muscle in my thigh. If it's a tear, it's very bad news. This could be game over. That's the reality. This could be all over before I've even got to attempt the challenge itself. Richie, we've had your results too. Um, it's good news. So they, they didn't find a tear on your MRI scan. But hopefully this should be quite a quick recovery and you could be back in a couple of weeks. After two weeks rest, I'm given the all clear. I'm not 100% fit, but it's now or never. I'm travelling to the Orkney Isles on the northern tip of Scotland. And there it is, the old man of Hoy itself. I am about to climb that imminently and bring to end a journey that has gone on for over a year now and I feel ready to face undoubtedly the biggest challenge of my entire life. Once considered unclimbable, the Old Man of Hoy is a 137 metre tall sea stack. Faced with extreme conditions, I will have to contend with high winds, a sandy rock face and terrifying heights. The weather was not completely on our side this morning. It was raining quite a lot, but um, it seems to have cleared up now. And yeah, I think probably about 
70, 30 that we'll do it. Not totally convinced. This is one of the biggest and hardest climbs in the whole of Britain. And um, the thought of attempting it excites me. I'm ready. I'm very, very much ready. And I am very much wanting to crack on. It's the waiting around that's the worst bit for me. So I want to dive in. This is it. After 18 months of training, it's time to start my challenge. Game time. See you on the other side. Gold badge holder Edward, who's climbed Hoy himself, will be watching my every move. The climb itself is divided into five sections called pitches. Pitch one is fairly simple, and I don't think Richie will struggle with it. Oh, it's good to see your face. Pitch two will push his skills as a climber to the limit. Richie will have to make his way across an incredibly narrow and dangerous traverse. My climbing partner Anna is leading the climb and making it look pretty easy. That's it, you're all right, you're all right. If he falls off, he's actually going to fall down and across, so we've got to try really hard to protect him. That's it. Go on, Richie, you, yeah, that's, that's how I did it. Use that undercut. This section was a real worry, but I'm actually doing OK. Keep going, yeah. You can use that. That'll keep you in balance. Traverse. Conquered. That was the shakiest I felt easily, hands down. I'd be lying if I said I enjoyed that. But I did it. Richie is about to go into the chimney. This is the hardest bit of the climb. He has to squeeze his body inside a small gap up to the top of the second pitch. There you are. Inside of the chimney, there's like no handholds, so you just have to like press off against the wall and make his way up. Yeah, he's doing really good. Come on, Dress. Let's go now. The weather's turned. I'm roasting, I'm exhausted, and every minute I spend here is sapping my energy. <sighs> Two fleeces, a T-shirt and a jacket was a bad idea. The problem I've got is the conditions on the rock face are terrible because of the rain earlier. When Anna climbed this section, even she struggled. So sandy, I can't hold on. I think Richie might be stuck at the top of the chimney. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get out of it. I'm in trouble. Oh my. I couldn't get out of the top of the chimney, so because of the wet conditions, the safety team have fixed a rope ladder for me to use on this section. I'm getting up here by any means. This is very frustrating and not what I wanted to do, but I've come this far and I'm determined to get to the top. Oh, my goodness. Go on, you've got it. Oh. That's it. A bit further there. Oh, there we go. Oh, my days. <laughs> well done. Right. You did amazing. I've got past pitch two, but there's a long way to go, and I'm not even halfway yet. Time to dig deep. Pitch three is a very slippy and sandy part of the climb. Good lad, Driss. But that won't stop me. Now I'm in my flow. This is the best pitch I think he's done. There are a couple of moves there that weren't quite as nice as I wanted them to be. I came through and did them. Come on! Once he's made his way past pitch three, he'll face the fourth section of the climb, and he'll face it on his own. I've got some real momentum now, and despite being out on my own, I'm flying. I've smashed pitch four, but I might have gone a bit too hard. Ah! Ah! Yeah, felt that in the hamstring, didn't I? You'll never guess what I felt then. What did you feel? My hamstring. Guess what? 
What? That's the top. <sighs> I've come so far and I'm nearly there. I'm just hoping I've got the strength to push through. Home stretch and it's done. Not too far away now. Ah, oh, my days. Oh, I need to sit. I need to stop because my leg is killing me. Richie's just taking a rest down there. I'm so near the top. I'm so near. I'm so close. Just when I'm feeling at my lowest, I remember the advice Edward gave me back when I first met him. You should never give up. You should just go to the top and enjoy the experience. And that thought is what drives me on. Do one big ass push, mate. You do it so, so well, dude. Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel having done that in less than a year of climbing? That is my greatest achievement. That is my greatest achievement. The only thing that rivals it is getting the Blue Peter job. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs>